We're gonna play some with the fire again, so make some fire department noise. Hopefully not. Hey, everybody always say, hey man, all those chefs wear cool hats and bandanas and stuff. So I decided to wear one too. I bought it uh, yesterday for Michelle, but I borrowed it from her. It's from uh, Italy, cool Italian places to visit. Uh, so let's go do some really quick uh, charring pepper class. I'm removing from all the different peppers I have. Uh, I'm removing end of the stands because not all, just uh, two long parts. Eh, I'm not gonna deal with that. And. Let's go start up my burner. We're gonna char the peppers so they will be nicely soft cooked so we can remove the skin and seats and unnecessary objects, bugs or whatever it's inside. Uh, Alright, we got a variety of the all kinds of cool spicy peppers. I want to do this uh, spicy pepper compote so it will be you know cool to put in a sandwich. It's used for all kinds of cooking, cremolades and stuff. So I got bowl. I'll put the peppers in. Like that. The peppers in the bowl. I know it's very complicated. Oil. Oh, a couple tablespoons on it. Sea salt, or kosher salt, twirly, twirly, twirly around. Something nice and shiny. My hands a little bit. Yeah, and burner. Let's go start up some fire. I know, I know, it sounds dangerous, but those little babies goes directly on the burner. I'm gonna do those thin ones in the end of it so they don't uh, get screwed too much. See what's gonna happen with this. Alright, my ball gonna get washed. And my uh, little friends, peppers getting burned up on the fire up there. Let's go. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? The peppers on fire. They make the uh, still a little bit dirty, but you know, it's worth it. All right, let's go position camera so we can shake that baby up a little bit longer. So, peppers, you know what? That's gonna be challenged. Those peppers are spicy. And they already start releasing that delicious aroma. And I can feel the tingling in my throat, that means <laughs> it's working. The spiciness from the pepper oils comes up. And it will be all good. In the meantime, when you guys sleep in, I was working in doing some recipe. I did this uh, really wait, wait, wait a minute. Really delicious recipe for chicken. One second. Alright, I got my another bit of cat. Don't eat all the plates, please leave it alone. So meantime, you know I coffee and clancy fancy sauce Planked roasted chicken. I uh, started on a plank, I stick it in the oven, 
sear the chicken and turn it down a little bit. So, we'll cook through evenly. My pepper is doing all good in the neighborhood. See, lucky thing I got bandana on because I will burn my hair and I can't spare anymore. I am very limited quantity, especially up front. I was thinking about borrowing from other areas, glued it on and stuff, but then I decided no way it comes with territory. Uh, you know, make me look very, very wise. Not really, but what can I do? That's the way it is. All right, my friends. The peppers, let's go flip it around. Oh, who the hell is this? Oh, that's a half a dog. I got the healers. Let's go hide it. You don't want to see it. All right, that's what we're looking for. Char peppers. It's not burned, it's char. Flip them around. So they got all this char action all over the place. Stop, stop burning. I can't have the any fire department doing some here. They're really nice guys, but I'm sure they will slap me with some hefty fire. There we go. Spablano. This side green, this side black. This side green, this side black. Like, I'm this side good, this side I'm bad. And this side I'm nice, this side I'm naughty because I'm Mad Max. <laughs> Alright. That's what we're looking for, char in the pepper. The trick is to make them feel really easy. You can put it in a bowl, cover with saran wrap, stick in a plastic bag, leave it, they cool down, steam will come up, and it will be easy to release the unwanted stuff. But I'm gonna do a little bit different way. And with this char uh, peppers, I will mix them together. Add a little bit garlic, add a little bit uh, maybe olive oil, a little bit seasonings, and make a little bit relish or compote. Goes really nice in the top of the fish or chicken, or maybe even steak. Will be good condiment if you like spicy stuff. Okay. good this burning pepper oils go to your lungs and you can feel the power of the peppers almost done and now it's boring but it's have to be done you see even char ablano and I'm gonna stick all those babies in a touch oven I pulled from a sleeping place yesterday was doing it because you know some people who uh, really don't care for my cooking especially one person down there she don't like my stuff much anymore so she will get mad oh. try don't drop that on your feet the peppers are soft will stick to your skin you know I don't wear shoes because I like to feel the floor so I don't trip with my high heels. I don't wear high heels. And I'm not really a big fan of this wearing this bandana, but I will do for you guys because I love you. Victory. Okay, peppers are charring very nicely. And getting very soft and delicious. And after it's done, I will show you what's happened with the dealio, okay? 
sharp pieces all over my stuff. Okay, keep on rock and rolling, keep on watching me. My name is Metal Chef Mad Max. I love you. I want your re I, I want your support. Please, 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 I'm begging you. Watch me. Send me good feedbacks. If it's bad, send me bad feed feedbacks. I'll take anything. Alright, keep on be good to each other, rock and roll, and never give up, okay? Be good! Booyah! Shake it!